this is Sonia from Napalm Records. We are here with Clementine from Visions of Atlantis. And uh, we're here to talk about a couple things with you on 70,000 Tons of Metal. So how are you liking the cruise so far? Oh, it's amazing. It's not the first time that I'm here, but it's an incredible experience. So much fun to meet up with all the band members and friends that we have made up around these years touring together. So it feels like a huge family reunion sometimes. And uh, the relationship with the fan is so cool. Everyone's so laid back and enjoying the cruise too. It's so so much fun and great vibes around here. Now you went kayaking yesterday, which oh, yeah. I joined in for. <laughs> she, was she was fierce, you know. <laughs> yeah. That was, sorry, so you, you had a question. <laughs> <laughs> do you do any like sports like that on the side? Kayak? No, not as itself. <laughs> It was not my first time though, but um, yeah, I, I love to, to climb. I go climbing like once or twice a week yeah, in, the, in the club in, indoors. And um, when I can, yeah, going outside is good as well. And working out and yoga, of course, mm -hmm. once a week as well. It's a great balance. So let's go back to the Deep in the Dark live at Symphonic Metal Nights. It's out February 22nd. Let's talk a little bit about your experience with the Symphonic Metal Nights tour. Um, any standout moments for you, um, like interactions with fans that were really, you know, important? Well, I have to say we, we went on that Symphonic Metal Nights twice. Um, last year in February and in, in, in the fall. Uh, this record has been recorded during the fall tour um, with Serenity. Um, I have to admit that um, we could really feel the difference in the response of the fans from the first leg of the tour in February and the second because there's been more time that our album was out and yeah. the promo had more like the time to be really effective. So more people knew the songs, more people had seen our videos and we could really tell that like, like the audience really liked our album and more people were showing, were showing up and singing along and more Visions of Atlantis t-shirt. Like we really felt like there was a real response uh, with that record. So it was like every night we were blown away by the response we received about in every country. So obviously, you know, it's a given that you would be playing The Deep in the Dark. But how did you guys go about choosing the other songs to be added to the set list, especially considering this is your first live album to be immortalized mm -hmm. on CD and MP3 forever? Well, there are a couple of songs that had been um, loved by the fans since they were released, and, and that, that in videos like the song "Lost," for example, this yeah. is this is a song we can't we have to keep in our set list because it's like one of the anthems of Visions of Atlantis, it's like the old version of the of the band, like it belongs to its history, and we want to carry it over. Uh, when it comes to the other songs, uh, we talk a lot with our fans, and we try to keep a close relationship with them online as well. So we kind of notice which songs they like most. Also, we do consider our own taste and what works live also. And we don't always play the same old songs. Um, we're gonna hit the tour in South America right after the Spurs and we bring more of the old songs to the, to the set list. And um, for this specific uh, shows on the cruise, we also brought like Memento, which is one song we never played really before. Um, yeah. We like to, there are so many records, so many songs, we like to just sometimes um, um, pick and choose, like, oh, we could do that one too. No, this is great, great live songs, good, good vibes, it should, should work out. And sometimes we choose a song and we play it, and if we feel like it doesn't work out, we never play it again. So. Any songs that you didn't get to play that you wish you could have? From Visions of Atlantis History? Yeah. Oh, this is, this is a tough question because actually, all the songs that I really liked, we managed to play, play them. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I really like some of the Trinity um, Trinity songs. Uh, I think uh, Dark Side Home, uh, Dushi and I really like that song. So we haven't never played it yet. So maybe we'll get the others to uh, uh, to share our opinion about it. Or maybe we'll move on because you know we're working on a new record now. So we're gonna have even more material to choose from. <laughs> so a new record in the works. Can you tell me a little bit about how that's going? It's going really great. Um, I think we're. Trying the same 
gonna be done pretty much in the same way as it was at Deep in the Dark, um, except that we have a new singer now, yeah. uh, Nick. So um, the vocal division and harmonies will be will be different with him for sure. But we're so much looking forward because uh, he's an amazing vocalist. Um, otherwise, yeah, the song we're trying to keep track with the Deep in the Dark is gonna be in the continuity of that pure symphonic metal, but could be that a couple songs are already would show with us under a different light because because we need to evolve as every band. You know, it just, there's no point in doing the Deep in the Dark part two. You know, it's, it has to it has to grow up and, and evolve as well. But those who really like that album would, would definitely be disappointed, I guess. So, Visions of Atlantis's 20th anniversary is coming up. Is anything special going to be going on for that? I think it's just a topic we have to start up in the band. Because I, I noticed, I, I got exactly the same reaction like you, like, oh, it's going to be soon the 20th anniversary. Um, but so far, there, there were no specific plans to, to, to reveal, but I guess there definitely is would be something to do about it because we celebrated the 15th anniversary in our hometown yeah. playing a very special show with the I think two or three of the former singers so that was really special the 20th we really have to do something go big or go home yeah <laughs> well Clementine thank you so much for talking with us and we are very much looking forward to what's coming pick up your copy of the deep in the dark live at symphonic metal nights now via napalm records and uh, yeah, keep an eye out for new stuff coming your way from Visions of Atlantis. See you soon on the road. March with Camelot and Evergrey. <laughs> Bye.